Good afternoon, YouTube. The National Secular Society has come out with its list of nominees for the Irwin Prize for Secularist of the Year. Nominations are Ricky Gervais, and most of these are for obvious reasons, Ricky Gervais, Christopher Hitchens, Tim Mitchin, uh, James O'Malley and the Pod Delusion team, so as an aside, Pod Delusion is a great podcast to which I've occasionally contributed in the past, link in the description, uh, Sarah Palin, as she has done more for the cause globally to ensure um, church and state should be kept apart than uh, any other public figure. Pope Benedict, uh, because he's turned more people against the Catholic Church than any paid-up secularist. Uh, the lawyer, Geoffrey Robertson. Uh, Salman Tassir, the governor of um, Punjab province in Pakistan, who was uh, killed last month. Peter Tatchell, uh, Polly Toynbee. Uh, Sophie Inetveld, uh, the MEP, and Pat Condell. Now, it's no surprise, I think, to anybody who's watched my videos that I'm not exactly a fan of Pat Condell. I do understand why he has a certain popularity and, and so on, and the whole stuff against Islam and whatever. But here he's been nominated for Secularist of the Year. And the on their website... You know, in the bar at the top on the front page, the National Secular Society says they are, quote, challenging relig religious privilege, end quote. Pacondel, as we know, came out in support of UKIP in 2010. And this is what, well, amongst other things, of course, the link will be in the description, uh, UKIP's policy page says on the Constitution, amongst other things, quote, UKIP fully supports the British monarchy and its constitutional role. We oppose disestablishment of the church and believe the monarch should remain defender of the faith, faith being the Church of England. We would restore public oaths of allegiance to the monarch, not the state. And it goes on. How that is in any way, you know, supporting a party which has that as a plank of its, of, of its platform is compatible with considering yourself a secularist, I have real difficulties with. Um, I can understand if you, you, know, if you say that the, you know, the other issues are so big that you have to give up on your secularism to, to support someone like that. But if that's the case, it, Pat Condell strikes me, given support for the party that has that in its manifesto, strikes me as a bizarre choice for secularist of the year. Now, this isn't a criticism of the NSS. I support the NSS. I think they actually do a lot of good work. But it's more, I suppose, a comment on, on this <laughs> bizarre situation where somebody who is not actually out there advancing a secular agenda, at least I don't think he's advocating a secular agenda, but has been so caught up in the criticism of, in criticism of religion that he gets propelled to the, you know, to high status uh, as a secularist. And don't get me wrong, there is plenty to criticise about Islam. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, although my mouth may catch on fire for saying this, sometimes Condell has been accurate and right in, his cri in some of his criticisms about Islam. But so much of the time, he just goes way off the deep end and comes out with... The, the, this attitude that anything that is bad for Islam is good of necessity because Islam is the prime evil and anything that's done to stop that seems to be justified. How that fits in with secularism, I don't know. He, particularly given the other candidates on the list, he just strikes me as an appalling choice for secularist of the year. Um, and I sincerely hope that the judges for the Irwin Prize, uh, take his support for the party of anti-disestablishmentarianism anti into account when deciding who to give the Irwin Prize to. I'm Landon Cole. I'll see you next time.